Mac is back, W2YM. Here we go. I'm Mark here. I'm glad everybody's here to watch this. I hope you stay here and watch this. Anyways, we're going to be talking about a power supply, 220 megahertz radio. And I want to thank uh, Team Sweeno for joining us today and all the uh, Asian countries, especially the Philippines out there watching, and all the Americans out there watching, of course, amateur radio or it's called ham radio, either one, whichever you'd like to call it. We're going to talk about the Daiwa SS330W power supply. And here's the switch, on-off switch. Here's the voltage setting. I think it goes from 5 to 15 volts. Here's your negative, and here is your positive hookup leads for whatever you're going to run. You can run an HF radio with this. You can run a VHF radio, UHF radio, or both, of course, in one radio. But this is 30 amps, so you have plenty of power supply here to run any radio you want, pretty much. Up to 100 watts, maybe a little bit more. But this is what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned. Of course, here is the negative. You put your wire around here from your radio. Very easy to do. Once you get around the stud, you just tighten it right up. Very easy to do. Here comes the positive. Just go around like this. All you got to do is just tighten it up. And that's what gives power to your radio or whatever you have hooked up to it. That will power it. Now this Daiwa SS330W, it's a switching power supply. Now it features variable voltage outputs from 5 to 15. It reads the 20, but it's actually 5 to 15. And then the, it also is 30 amps continuous duty. So you're, you're pretty much good to go. It's 30 amps continuous, which is plenty enough to run an HF radio or whatever radio you want to run. Now, of course, when the green power indicator LED, and it also has a red protection circuit LED, uh, keeps you advised of the power supply's condition. So it's all on the front panel, and you can see it real easy just by turning it on. You'll see these lights down here. Now there's the green indicator light right here. Now if something happens to it, they got a protection right here, which would go red. Of course, that's not on. And, of course, the, uh, the Daiwa power supplies include a detachable AC power cord, carrying handle, and it also has, like I said, internal cooling fan. So, like I said, for an all-around power supply, you really can't beat it. It's a switching power supply, but this has to be probably one of the quietest switching power supplies I've ever owned. I usually prefer a regulated power supply, but this one here does a great job. And in a second, we'll show you what it's going to run. Okay, and here we've got, of course, we got the power supply on. And what this one is here, this, this 220 megahertz mobile is an Alinko DR235MK3. And uh, I'll turn it on to take a look at it. And as you can see, I've got it on memory zero for a local um, repeater. And the microphone here is a beautiful looking microphone. The EMS-57 is pretty much everything you want on a microphone. It's a very nice mic. Of course, it's on a repeater right now. And it's identifying itself. And 
that's a local repeater. And this radio here, of course, is a 220, it's a 220 megahertz mobile transceiver. And it's one of the most popular 220 uh, megahertz VHF mobiles out there today. It de delivers a real good performance and uh, quality made radio. It's very user friendly. And uh, I'll tell you, it's very easy to program it. It's got memory functions. It, ha it holds about 100 memories. So there's no problem in uh, putting the memories in. Yeah, more than you can ever imagine. I don't know anybody who uses 100 memories on 220, but you'll have no problem with that. And uh, you don't need to remove the uh, mic if you want to do packet operation on this radio. And of course, uh, it's got your encode and tone burst and all the standard options you need. So it's a it's a wide and narrow FM molds. It's even got a theft alarm feature on it. And uh, it's got a commercial grade backlit microphone with the metal connector here. This microphone here, like I said earlier, it's a it's a very nice mic, very heavy duty mic too. And like I said, you got everything you need, all the features right on there. So no problem with the microphone, like I said, it's a very good microphone. Here is the uh, hand mic, and here it is all lit up. And as you can tell, it's nice and bright. You can see everything on it. So I have no problems with this uh, Linko handheld microphone. Look how nice it lights up if you want it lit up like this. Like I said, it's probably one of the better 220 megahertz mobile radios out there. I've never had a problem with it. It's a switch on the left side for turning the uh, keypad on and off. Of course, that's off, and that's on. Very simple. And right here is where you talk into. That's where it says mic, M-I-C. And of course, you hit the P-T-T -T on the side. You key up, and you talk right through that microphone right there. And believe it or not, it sounds really nice. Good quality. Switch it on. And there you have it. And the uh, transmit range, frequency range goes from 222.000 to 224.995 megahertz on FM. And the receive is 216.000 all the way to 279.995 megahertz AM and FM, it says. So you don't have any problems with this radio whatsoever. And like I said, it's got 100 memory channels. And its rated voltage is 13.8 volts DC. So you won't have too much problem with that. The drainage is not very much on this power supply because it's a 30 amp power supply. So the drainage is hardly going to be anything at 25 watts. And like I said, there's 25 watts on high, 10 watts on medium, and you can set it for 5 watts on low, the radio. And uh, you won't have any troubles with this radio. I've had this radio for quite a few years, and it's always served me well. So... That's a little bit on the Alinko DR235 MK3. And like I said, I think they still have these for sale. And uh, I'll tell you, it's uh, 220 megahertz band offers a nice alternative to the two meters with far less traffic. So you won't have as much trouble with too many people on there. It's nice and quiet, of course. And uh, it's a great radio for uh, simplex and repeaters. So you'll have no troubles whatsoever. It's got a lot of nice features. Easy to put memories and things like that in there. Of course, you got a squelch down here, and you've got your function sets right over here. Your memories will be here. There's all kinds of different things on here, but it's not really hard to operate whatsoever. So if anybody's interested in a 220 radio, these uh, are pretty nice to have in the uh, mobile or in your house. And that is the Alinko DR235 MK3. And here we have the Astron RS70M power supply. Now this is a 70 amp heavy duty linear su power supply. And this is considered a regulated power supply. Some call it a linear power supply. A lot more heavier duty than a switching power supply. Now this 70 amps, you can run pretty much any radio, even a 200 watt radio. Some people run small amplifiers on this power supply. You could probably get away with running between five, 600 watts if you wanted to. I never have, but 
I know people that run 5, 600 watt amplifiers on these power supplies because they're so well made and so durable. And as you can see, we'll switch this on. These lights are both going to light up. Of course, this is your amps and this is your voltage. And there you have it. It's got a heavy duty heat sink. It weighs a shipping weight on this power supply. It's like 48 pounds. So you're talking quite a bit of weight. And as you can see, we can turn it around real slow. You'll see how the back looks. Look at this, the fins to keep this cool. Like I said, it's very heavy duty. Here you've got a massive fan. And of course, positive and negative feeds for your radios. Or amp, if you want to run a small amp on it. So, and here's your fuse built in down here. Like I said, everything's good to go with these. These are really heavy duty. Big heat sinks. Of course, you got a couple extra goodies on the back if you want to use them. So. And like the old saying is, if you need reliability, DC power supplies look no further than an astronaut power supply. To me, they're probably the best on the market, I would imagine, in my book. And uh, you can't really, they got a variety, a wide variety of power supplies. Whether you need a 20 amp, 15 amp, 10 amp, 30 amp, 40, 50, 60, all the way to this 70 amp power supply. And um, got a current limiting that protects the power supply from excessive current and continuous shorted output. So there's some protection in these power supplies. And it's got, a, like I said, it's got a very, very heavy duty heat sink. And, um, and it's an all meter unit features backlit meters. Of course, you see them lit up. And you can't really beat an Astron. I don't know if there's one better on the market, really. I mean, yeah, you'll see other ones that maybe have a 100 amp, but uh, when you want quality, you can't beat the Astron 70M. It's, uh, most of the models are built for 105 to 125 volts AC input. There are some models with 220. Believe it or not, you can have it wired up for 220 instead of a 110 input for your plug. So, like I said, some people run a lot of different things on this power supply. You run small amplifiers, a nice big radio, whatever you're into, this power supply is definitely going to handle it. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching the video. If there's something else you'd like me to do, let me know. But I will be getting more in-depth with the uh, 7700 ICOM, the PW1 one of these days. And my wife and I will be doing other videos too. And if you have any suggestions for any, we appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you could. Thank you.